Good morning, Texans. This is Alan Spray with This Day in Texas History for March 12, 1836. It's a Saturday and the Battle of Refugio takes place. Amon B. King and 28 men reach Refugio. Instead of getting the settlers out, they decide to attack local ranchers headed by Carlos de la Garza, who is loyal to the Mexican government. As this was going to be, uh, was this, as this was going on, Urea's advanced cavalry arrive and engage the Texians. King and his company fall back to the mission in Refugio and sent a mission, a messenger to Fan to ask for help. The Georgia battalion, led by William Ward, is sent to help Amon B. King. Over in Gonzales, Susanna Dickinson arrives in Gonzales and tells everyone what she had seen at the Alamo. Sam Houston writes to Philip Demint. Bring all of his forces to Washington the Brazos and grab any troops at Victoria that can be spared. Fannin will order to fall back to Victoria. At the Alamo, at General Almonte's diary, Sesma, y Rome Sesma and Romero wrote from El Salado. John M. Wade uh, joins Captain Joseph L. Bennett's company. William Ware re enlists in the Texas Army and is elected captain of the 2nd Company of Colonel Sidney Sherman's. 2nd Regiment of Texas Volunteers and would fight at San Jacinto. George A. Lamb enlists and joins William Ware's Company D of Colonel Sidney Sh Sherman's 2nd Regiment of Texas Volunteers. He, he will die in the Battle of San Jacinto. Alexander Somerville re enlists in the Texas Army after having previously, previously fought at Behar. He would be elected Lieutenant Colonel of the 1st Regiment and fight at San Jacinto. William uh, Stanhope Taylor re enlists and serves under William Ware. In Navy uh, action, William S. Brown is suspended after an argument with the Commodore of the Texas Navy, Charles E. Hawkins. He would be given a commission later on and put in charge of two Mexican ships that had been captured. Jeremiah Brown is named commander of the schooner Invincible. And the Flash is given to the command of, the, of uh, Luke A. Falville and takes the twin sisters to the Brazos Rivers and then to Morgan's Point. All right, this has been Alan Spade for This Day in Texas History for March... 12, 1836. I'll see you tomorrow.